Hi there. In today's video, I'm going to teach you about recurring transactions and how useful these types of transactions can be. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is the definition of a recurring transaction? It's a transaction that is going to, are you ready for this? Reoccur, meaning it's going to repeat itself. And a lot of transactions are candidates for repeating, for reoccurring. Invoices, for example, let's say that you collect rent uh, on the first of every month. Well, that would be a great recurring transaction. Sales receipts could be expenses. Let's say that you have a certain expense that's going to hit your account each month and you want to ensure that it's, it's in there already so that when you go to banking, you already have a match for that transaction. Um, checks, eh, not so much because, you know, checks have check numbers assigned to them. Although I suppose you could set up a check as recurring and then correct the check number that is assigned. Bills would certainly be a great candidate for recurring transactions. But we'll take a look at setting up an invoice and we'll take a look at setting up an expense as a recurring transaction. So if I go to new and then invoice, and I'm going to bring up an old invoice. All right, so here we go. On 7-1, we collect rent of $1,500, okay? And we know that come 8-1, we'll be collecting rent again, and 9-1, 10-1, etc. So let's set this invoice up as a recurring invoice type of transaction. We'll click Make Recurring. Okay, we're going to give it a name. All right, in this case, it just took on the name of the customer we had filled in, which in this case is a sample customer. So let's just call this Sample Customer Rent. Now, there's a few different types of uh, recurring transactions. One is scheduled, and that is the one that I would suggest you use for this case. The other one is don't put it in, but at least remind me that it needs to be put in. And another one is unscheduled. And unscheduled are used just on an as needed basis. You would actually go to the recurring transaction list and you would select it and say use. So we're going to select scheduled. All right. Um, if I wanted that transaction to go in X number of days in advance, I could certainly do so right there. All right. And then this is more like how is this transaction going to look when it goes in? So it'll have my customer's name, perhaps your tenant's name. It'll have um, an email address um, if you want to automatically email this um, invoice to your tenant as a reminder, and you would click automatically send emails right here. You could actually queue it up to print the invoice later. Um, and then the interval is monthly, but we could also, you know, depending on the transaction type, maybe it's daily, maybe it's weekly, maybe it's an annual transaction, but this one's going to be monthly. And we want it to go in on the first day of every month, st starting with, now let me warn you here, you cannot go back in time to do these recurring transactions, okay? So today, today happens to be the 13th of July. Um, I couldn't go back and say, set this one up for 7-1 or set it up for 6-1. But I can certainly say select 8-1 and have it start then. And if there's an infinite number that you want, you could tell it to end 
by a certain date or after a certain date. But in this case, we're hoping that tenant will be there forever. Um, and then you have the, the building address and you could certainly put in this address, uh, maybe the, your property address. It's due on receipt, it's rent, and it's $1,500. All right, now we save this template. Now, how do I see that template? I go up here to the gear. I come down to recurring transactions. And there is my first recurring transaction. It's an invoice scheduled to go in every month and the next date is on 8-1. So let's say that you log into your QuickBooks Online file on 8-1, 8-2, 8-3. Well, what you're gonna find is that this date has advanced now to 9-1 and this invoice has already been posted in your QuickBooks Online file. Now, let's do one more type. Let's do an expense type of transaction. And again, I'm gonna go over here and just pull up uh, an old one. All right, here we have uh, a, a dues and subscription for epidemic, epidemic sound, okay? And um, it posted today. Again, today is 713. And we want to set it up for the future. So we click make recurring. We Epidemic sound is the name it took on. That's fine. We can make it scheduled. We won't have it created in advance. We'll just let it put it on on the date that we specify. It's gonna post monthly. And it's going to post next on 8-13-2021. It goes to dues and subscriptions. It has a nice um, memo or description in here. And if you know me at all, you know I'm big on putting descriptions in that say, what is this transaction? And then we have the amount. All right, so I'm going to save that template. And now you can see we have two um, recurring transactions. Think about ways that you can use recurring transactions and put them into use. And that's all I have for you today. Make it a great day.